Investors returned to watching re relatively uh, good earnings season, with sales and profits mostly beating Wall Street estimates. So are earnings enough to revive this bull market? Joining us now is a friend of the show, Deepak Puri, Deutsche Bank uh, CIO of the Americas. Deepak, good to see you, uh, a, as always. We're going to drill down to earnings, but w was it just crazy talk in your mind that we were even thinking about a rate hike at any point this year? Mm -hmm. Indeed, but uh, you know, I, I think when you look at the, how the year started, Brian, I think you can easily argue that rate hike was completely off kilters, right? There's no way we this Fed six is going to exactly right yeah. to 165 odd basis points of rate cuts. But then, as the quarter progressed, you started getting these misses on inflation, right? Both on nominal and core, you start feeling okay. The geopolitical risk. It's an election year. Price of gasoline is going to play an important role. You know, all that can manifest itself to a to a inflation backdrop that can be a little bit discerning. And if the Fed is truly data dependent, then for how long does the Fed push back on this narrative that at some point you need to increase rates? So I think yesterday Fed Chair Powell really took that out of equation, said we are not even thinking about rate hikes for for the, at least as of today. Uh, and then uh, that gave the markets a little bit of a sign of relief, you know. But how long is that sigh of relief going to last, particularly if you believe what Chair Powell is saying about the lawn and variable lags? Does that eventually weigh on growth in the latter half of this year, or are we just seeing the market getting in line with the Fed finally? I think the markets were mostly in line in late March. If you remember, mm -hmm. the March meeting, the summary of economic projections had three rate cuts, and the market was looking at three rate cuts. As of today, there's a one in three odds that the market may not see any rate cut for the rest of this year. And is I think that the, too much, by the way? Uh, it, it, are, it, it could the, be, because we, our base case is that we're still going to see one to two rate cuts this year, mm -hmm. and another one uh, you know, early next year. Mm -hmm. And I think the rate cuts, it's really the timing that's been pushed back. Now you're looking at uh, probably June, July out. September, most likely the first month where rate cuts would come into picture. And then most likely post-election. You have two Fed meetings post-elections, and those could be the live meetings for rate cuts. Um, and that's what market needs to factor now in. You know, we've been used to. And I want to also mention that just because there's an elongated pause does not mean it's negative for risk. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just like we're, we're used to seeing six months from the last rate hike to the first rate cut. This time it might be a 12 to 14 month exercise. Has something shocked you this earnings season? Nothing really. I mean, actually, you know, I like the fact that it's been broadening out. You see a lot of uh, financials, industrials, energy. You know, all these companies are starting to pay some cash back to the investors, which is a good news. I think the uh, yeah, who doesn't like a dividend check, right? Indeed. So I mean, that's that's good and bad in a way because maybe there's not enough, you know, positive growth momentum there. Nothing really comes to mind, to be honest. I think the big tech earnings for the time being has been really solid. Uh, they have uh, mixed results. But in general, I would say much more positive than what the street was expecting. And the fact that you know, they're still capturing market share, the revenues are growing, you know, that's all very positive. The AI secular tailwind is here to stay. One sentence takeaway for Apple earnings? Well, I cannot talk about individual names. I would say you should continue uh, you know, your earlier discussion right there. I think uh, Magnificent 7 might be magnific mag Magnificent 4 by the end of the year. All right. That's a headline for Over us, Deepak. Thank you so much. Really appreciate Pleasure. it. Thank, Thank you, you so for that. much.